do the pilot parallel cartridges fit in the Metropolitan? Oh, and this is kind of a debate that we have going on in Goulet right now because we are getting some, we have some reviews on our site that say they don't work so well. I have other people that said they've used them successfully. Maybe it depends on the pen type. But if you have a pen such as Pilot Metropolitan or Pilot, you know, Parallel is, is the one that these cartridges are made for. But um, the thing I will say, um, you know, a lot of people want to use these pens. The Pilot Namiki ink cartridge color offering is not very extensive so a lot of people like to look into the pilot parallel drop the cartridges pilot parallel mixable ink cartridges because the color variety is a little better um, there's 12 different colors um, you know so this is the variety pack here and uh, this is made for the pilot parallel now if you look we have a video on the pilot parallel uh, that Rachel shot a number of years ago and here's a yellow one uh, so that video that she used, she showed how to actually mix them. The whole point of the parallel, right here, it's a it's a nice like calligraphy style pen. Um, it's got like a stub type nib on it. Um, you can get it in different uh, widths. But the whole kind of point and the reason it's called the parallel is when you mix, uh, you use the ink cartridges. You can use two different ink colors and you touch the tips together. It lets the ink kind of mix together a little bit. And then when you go to write with it, say you have a yellow and you have a red, right? It's going to start out a little more red. It's going to kind of transition to orange and then it's going to turn to the yellow as you're using it. So touching the tips together, you can get this really cool kind of ink color fading effect uh, with the parallel pens. That's part of why it's called the parallel because you're using two of them together side by side parallel. Get it? Uh, that's what it's all about. And also the blades, blades, the nib, it, they are kind of just blades. It's just flat blades. It's not like a curved fountain pen nib. There's no slit in it. It's two basically plates or blades that are together and that is essentially acting as your feed. So that's another reason it's called the parallel is because the nib itself is actually two kind of plates that go together and the ink kind of goes up in between. So it's a very different pen, very interesting kind of fountain pen. But um, from what I've, I understand, you know, this ink that comes in these mixable cartridges is, well, it says right on there, special formulated ink exclusive for parallel pen. So what we're starting to think, and we don't have like official word on this, what we're starting to think is there's some kind of pigmentation or something like that that will affect the normal fountain pen feed that will tend to make it be a little more cloggy, right? Clogs it up a little bit more. Whereas that's not an issue because of the design of the parallel. Um, the cartridge itself is the same design as what you have in a Metropolitan or a Falcon or something like that. So it will fit on there, but it might have some clogging stuff. So we do need to do, I'll just flat out admit, we need to do more experimentation on this because we've been selling these for years and I haven't had a lot of people saying like, oh, this is a problem. It's only until recently that we've had some complaints about it. So it's something we need to investigate a little bit more. So I'll just say kind of watch out for that. And in general, what you really should do is, is get yourself a converter and then you can use whatever color you want. But that, you know, that's just me.